am immigration and naturalization attorney Jim Hacking, practicing law here in St. Louis, Missouri. Today we're going to talk about a naturalization success case that we had uh, adjudicated this week. This case was extraordinary in that we had to file an appeal of a denied naturalization case. So just so you know, the naturalization process starts with someone filing what's called an N-400. That's the application for naturalization any green card holder who's had their green card for five years or if they're married to a U.S. citizen for three years can apply for naturalization and if they meet the certain statutory requirements then they are allowed to naturalize and become a U.S. citizen and then they receive all the benefits that go along with naturalization like being able to vote, serve on juries, those kinds of things. In this particular case our client who's from Iraq, we'll call him Ahmed. Ahmed um, came to the United States many years ago as a refugee from the war in Iraq. He's had his green card for seven or eight years, and he had applied for citizenship on his own. When he went for his interview, um, the interviewing officer asked him about his prior marriage and his divorce. Specifically, she wanted to know whether uh, Ahmed had supported his ex-wife and his uh, child that they had as a result of the marriage during the time that he was in Iraq and then also when he was in the United States. Now Ahmed had become separated from his wife after the divorce. He had taken care of her and the uh, son that the couple had during the time that he was in Iraq. But then when the war broke out, he and his ex-wife and son became separated and he had thought that they had gotten killed in the bombing in Baghdad. So he had been out of contact with them for three or four years. One day his sister was visiting family in Jordan and she came across his ex-wife and his son and she found out that they were still alive. At that point Ahmed started making payments to the wife and started supporting the son once again. Now at the immigration interview, at his naturalization interview, the officer was asking him about this and this particular officer um, spends a lot of time at interviews asking about child support issues. It's an important issue for her and it's one that she spends a lot of time on. And you'll recall that Ahmed had filed this without an attorney and apparently there was a confrontation between the officer and Ahmed during the interview where she basically accused him of abandoning his child and abandoning his obligations under the law to his ex-wife and she denied him naturalization claiming that he had bad moral character because he had failed to support his son. Now when Ahmed came to see us we thought that this result was pretty ridiculous. It seemed to suggest that the officer gave no countenance to the fact that he had been in a war zone, that he and his ex-wife had gotten separated and that he had always supported his son um, both before and after the uh, separation and that this officer was just being ridiculously myopic in thinking that everything in Iraq is like it is in America. And so we filed an N-336 which is an administrative appeal. Now we don't always put a lot of stock in these administrative appeals. We often tell our clients that it's something that we might have to do in order to get judicial review of a denied N-400 later on down the line. So with an N-336, when you file this application, it typically means you're just going down the hall and asking another officer to decide differently than the prior officer had. And so you're basically asking a coworker to rule that their coworker made a mistake. And so we don't put a lot of stock in it, but we told our client, well, down the road, if you want to have a judge look at this and decide on his or her own whether or not you get to naturalize, we have to go through this intermediary process. And that involves filing the N-336 and going for an interview. So Ahmed and I went ahead and filed the N-336. He paid the filing fee and he paid me to represent him. And we filed the administrative appeal. When we went to the interview, the new officer uh, adjudicating the case told us that if we could come up with documentation from the ex-wife that Ahmed had been supporting the son and had supported her under his legal obligations after the divorce decree that she would grant him naturalization. So Ahmed was upset about this. He thought that getting his ex-wife to sign an affidavit would be almost impossible, but we went ahead and prepared it, translated it into Arabic, and lo and behold, the ex-wife did in fact sign it, and we submitted it to the Immigration Service late last week. Yesterday we got a notice in the mail that Ahmed's naturalization application uh, had been approved, that the prior decision had been reversed, and that he was going to naturalize. Uh, we think that's a good result. We think it's a sound result. I suppose that if Ahmed had had that documentation with him in the first place, that his case wouldn't have been denied. At least that's the position that USCIS is taking now. We're just happy that our client's going to be able to raise his right hand and swear his allegiance to the United States and become a U.S. citizen. We think the prior decision was wrong and that the new officer was correct in granting 
the appeal, the N336 was approved, the N400 was approved, and our clients can be able to become a citizen. So if you have any questions about N336s or administrative appeals of decisions of a green card or a citizenship application, we can help you with that. Give us a call, 314-961-8200, or you can email me, jim at hackinglawpractice.com. Thanks. Thank you.